Hello everybody, Jimmerding here bringing you another Conan Exiles build video. Today's build started off as me just messing around with a mini waterfall base I never actually intended to make a video on, but I got a bit carried away and let's say by the time I finished I knew I had to make a video on this. I've used them in the medium pieces again because I'm really enjoying that set and I want to just test it out to its full potential, see what its limits are, things like that. As always, there's a timestamp for a finished build tour if that's all you came here for, but keep watching if you want a full build guide too. This location is a really scenic oasis to build at and the median set goes really well with this desert rock colour in my opinion. It's in cell H5 next to Mitra's Serenity. If you think the build is cool, please show your appreciation with that like button and subscribe if you like the feel of this content. For now though, let's get into the build guide by clearing up the area of my mortal enemy in this game, Nature. This is a modded PC build for those who are wondering. I just don't think I'd be able to achieve this build without certain placement restrictions lifted unfortunately. I start off the structure inside the waterfall cave which will eventually be a little secret smithing area. I use a fair bit of arena mixed with the Nemedian as it works great when you want some stone floors instead of the wooden ones offered by the Nemedian. The colours go really well together too. I've used the fence method to raise one of the foundations here and you might have noticed I left two foundations out in the middle too. This is important to do as I use arena vaulted ceilings in a sec to create two little culverts to give the impression they've built this to work with the waterfall and let the water flow as it naturally would.
I advise using mainly wall pieces and as few foundations as possible to build these supports in the cliff as too many foundations tend to lag the game out a bit, a lot more than just using walls and ceilings anyway. I felt that the sheer walls just leading up the face of the cliff looked a bit bland and repetitive so using some vaulted ceilings I created a balcony effect that really adds some detail to them.
One of the benefits of using the Less Building Restrictions mod is you can stack stable gates on top of each other, allowing you to support ceilings with a look that looks like pillars, but without the need to have the pillar directly in the centre of the foundation it's being placed on. This technique really helped bring the stable area together. Together with some decorative support beams from the Pythagoras Support Beams mod. Really worth a look if you have the time. After enclosing that upper area, which would be for the Wheel of Pain, then decorating the whole build off camera, the build was complete. Really liking this build and I hope you guys agree. As before, please do hit that like button to show your support, it means a great deal to me. This has been Jimmerding, have a good one guys.